So in the last video we took uh, the timing chain out and now it's time to assemble the car. Uh, you can click on the link to see the first video if you need help with that. And since I forgot to uh, film how to assemble the chain outside of the car, I will be doing this with the old one since the new one is already in the car. The chain is not the directional, it doesn't have outside or the inside. This, again, it's not directional, no outside inside doesn't matter the way you put it so it needs to be in this position the sprocket needs to be down from this tab the chain needs to be in this, around the sprocket and between these now what you do is insert it like this it has to be rotated like this and make sure that all the little tabs are seated correctly you need to sit in their position like this and you twist it back out and this is how the chain assembled together should look so all the tabs here should be inside their guides and this little plastic tab as you can see should go around the sprocket and the chain should be on the both side of it so that's how you do it And now we're ready to put the timing chain back in. Uh, the one, the guide with one hole goes left, the one with two holes goes to the right, and you just slide it in like this. Now to put everything back together. You will have to lift the chain up a bit to get the sprocket aligned with the, like this. We will tighten the crankshaft to five Newton meters, five kilos with the torque wrench. That's five, and then we turn it 180 degrees, which we can do in steps like that's 90. And that's 180. Now we'll put the crank sprockets on. You have to watch. This one is intake, it says E I N. This one is exhaust, it says EX30. So like this. And for now, we put it to be finger tight in. We'll tighten them up, tighten them up once the timing chain tensioner is in. Now we do the same with the intake sprocket. Set it up, and again we tighten it finger tight. Like this. After that, we put in bearing bolts for the guides. Now, tighten them up to 30 Newton meters for the upper guide. We put it in and torque it to 20 Newton meters. Now that everything's tight and secured, it's time to put uh, the timing chain tensioner in its place. Uh, again, it's 27 
mm socket and you tighten it to 65 newton meters. When everything is assembled and uh, the damage intentioner is in place, you can finally torque uh, the camshaft sprockets. Uh, they are torqued at the same specs, 20 newton meters, and then again 180 degrees. And after you have tightened uh, camshaft sprockets, uh, remove a uh, camshaft lock, go under the car, remove crankshaft lock, and uh, spin the engine one or two times to see if everything is okay and if it stays. Now at this point my GoPro decided to die as it usually does. But to be honest, most of the hard work was already done, so there's not much more that I can show you. From this point on, all that is uh, left is to reassemble the car. You start with the valve cover, all the jacks, plugs, uh, whatever needs to be done, put it back on the car and try to start it. If you uh, see any difficulties while starting, any weird noises, problems, the car won't start or anything, stop it, check if everything is plugged in, check if everything is correct and then try to start it again. In my case, I forgot to plug uh, one of the camshaft sensors and the car wouldn't start. Checked everything out, connected the plug, uh, and after that, uh, it started with no problems. So, no harm, no foul. Either way, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.